about protecting each other uh, and making sure that uh, people are taken care of here. Uh, all kinds of tips uh, as well and as well in terms of the uh, countywide. We, we did a big story uh, a couple of weeks ago in anticipation of all of this about the cool zones. We are at such a cool zone. This is the Balboa Park Activity Center. But absent from the discussion, and we'll get a, a, a reinforcement on that from Michael McConnell, a longtime advocate for the homeless here and frequent contributor on KUSI, absent from the discussion about making sure that people are protected, the homeless. Yep. It doesn't well, surprise you. No, it doesn't. Once again, the city isn't prepared to help some of the most vulnerable people in our community. Well, that preparation has to start long before, you know, we got a week in advance at the, hey, boy, and take a look at what's going on in the rest of the country. I mean, we're setting records. For example, this activity center, you couldn't reasonably expect, and, and most of the cool zones are smaller buildings than this. We're talking senior centers or libraries. You wouldn't expect a senior center or a library to be able to, all of a sudden, we've got a shuttle here, and there are eight or ten homeless people on it, and, and now you have to uh, make way for them in terms of services because you know we've got people in the in the uh, population that that have special needs so to speak in terms of their uh, their behavior but the the planning then you would say would have to start well before the heat wave oh of course you need a long-term strategy for this and just the overall the crisis we have a growing population of people who are experiencing homelessness seniors and seniors is even a more growing part of that population and we have thousands of people on our streets that's growing and we need a strategy to get people off the street year round but certainly during times like this all right so year round would mean bigger shelters more shelters uh, all around the the city and the county to accommodate people because yeah, it's great that people can come here but it's not easy for a homeless person who has all their belongings somewhere in a canyon or a riverbed or on a sidewalk to just pack up and move all this way. Well, we talked about this with the uh, with the safe shelter at 20th and B, the, the city maintenance yard. The city said, and we were there the day that um, Mayor Glory announced, so we're going to open a couple of days early. It's going to be a soft opening. We're not going to enforce the anti sleeping on the sidewalk uh, uh, ordinance, but it's going to be a soft opening. But I was told uh, by one of the operations people that, we're, well, we're, we're going to get transportation to them here because you can't walk from downtown to where this is. And I have seen very little I know, coverage of how we're getting people there. And, yeah. and oh, by the way, it's a pavement with tents on it, so we're not talking about getting out of the heat. No, it doesn't do anything to really help people get out of the heat. And, and there's a lot of issues, the opening issues with that that program. And it's kind of typically what we see from the city is not very well implemented plans and programs. Yeah, the soft opening would seem to be at, 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 at the, the least of as opposed to the most of in terms of, all right, we weren't going to enforce this for a month, but we've got a very little population there. Yeah, it kind of shows that really the whole point of opening it was just so they can enforce the anti-camping ban instead of actually helping people. There's lots of people who want to go in there, but the city's not really ready for them. There's no showers. The transportation is, is lacking and other things. And, oh, by the way, this is a nonprofit that's operating on behalf of the city. So we are left, uh, and, and you've talked about this. I, I've certainly seen coverage of the fact that we're left with nonprofit organizations, people reaching out, water, whatever clothing protection there could be, but that's about as far as it's going to go during this heat wave. Yeah, it doesn't look like the city's going to step up once again, so if anybody wants to help, they can always carry water in their car, especially cold water, hand it out to people, and, you know, just do the best we can to help folks. All right, Michael, as always, thank you, thanks. and thanks for your efforts on behalf of somebody that didn't get talked about, meaning a, a population this, this, this time uh, today weekend and uh monday it's going to be tough yeah thanks for keep beating yeah. the drum on this issue all right